Let me show you how I built this realistic entrance for my new park in Planet Coaster. This new park series has a few rules to make it even more exciting and challenging. The park must contain at least three roller coasters, none of which exceeding 30 meters or 100 feet in height. There must be at least one water ride and one track ride. I also need to include at least five flat rides. Stay tuned to my channel and follow this new exciting park build challenge. When building an entrance, I place information booths next to the turnstiles, where guests are able to buy tickets and priority passes. I use the gridded wall pieces as a foundation, then I add a new grid slightly in front of the main one, that way I avoid clipping and flickering between the two textures of the wall. To do this, simply place down a new texture on the first grid, then collect the piece and click split from building. This way you are able to move it freely by clicking toggle advanced move and rotation. This is an extremely useful tip when making fine adjustments and movements of certain pieces. To get a certain piece to align with an object, in this case the wall, press the F key and it will automatically align. Then you are able to move it and place it from there. Since the glow from the lights is so dim in this game, I oftentimes add aerial lights, changing the color to match the glow of the light, and then I sink it into the ground. This way the glow light up the area around the lights and the lamps. I place fences and gates by the entrance to be able to lock the park after opening hours and during low season. For the grand roof covering the main gates, I use coaster supports, including footers and flanches as mounts.
Planters are a great addition for boring looking plazas and corners between buildings. I create a blueprint using planters and some flowers. This can be used several times throughout the park. Just change the colors of the flower once in a while for more realism. I use barriers to sink down under the terrain where I don't want guests to walk. Here's the end result. Now, if you didn't knew these tips and tricks from before, go ahead and implement this building technique into your own parks. I want to take the opportunity to thank every single one of you who stuck around to the end. I'm so grateful for your support. Thank you.